Write in the comments below if you think I will get this in my mouth. Ah, oh, my TD! Attention everybody, I have some exciting news. Stay tuned for an announcement. Coming soon. Hello everyone, how are we doing today? Oh my god, it literally smells like something died in here. So this is my makeup bag. I don't know what I've done. Oh, there's probably something gone off in here, isn't it? Makeup is a minefield. Be right back while I cover my bags. I don't actually know if this sort of stuff works, but... Oh my god. Don't do that, because you can blind yourself. What a great start to this video. Welcome back to the channel, everyone. What this video should be titled is Taz struggles to eat from vending machines for 15 minutes straight. Yeah, I had a swell all the time. It was so much fun. I'm fine. I'm doing great, how are you? I'm kind of in the process of renting in London. Well, I'll say that, that's dependent on the fact if they accept me. But let's not think about that. Let's stay positive. You know, we're all about positivity on this channel. I'm gonna fall. I split my time between Cardiff and London. Because I don't live in London, every time I go to London, I book Airbnbs. It's starting to be very expensive. And also, I'm a homebody. I like going somewhere and feeling like it's home. So yeah, I'm kind of trying to figure out so that when I'm in Cardiff, I have my home. And when I'm in London, I will potentially have my own place there too. Wouldn't that be fun? Wouldn't that be swell? Wouldn't that just be a grand old time? Um, it still costs hella money, but I think it's better than just going to random Airbnb. So I was basically in London doing some viewings and I remember a viewer messaging me, asking me to try and do living off food vending machines for 24 hours, which I thought was very interesting. Since I'm in London and I'm gonna be going around to different places, I might as well try this out. Let's just say, I hit many new lows. So I hit the streets of London in search of vending machines. Excuse me, do you guys do vending machines? No, no. no. What's Just, you know, vending machines where you get food from? Really many vending machines about now. Really? So you only really get them in gyms or in cinemas. Oh, but not. Oh. Yeah. I'm in London in Paddington Station, and turns out vending machines isn't really a thing in London anymore. So clearly, I didn't research this video very well. So the real challenge today is going to be to find vending machines. Oh, if I only knew how hard it was going to be. Since there were no vending machines around here, I decided to go elsewhere. First viewing of today is in this beautiful area and it's very nice. It's a little on the pricey side, but it's so nice that I'm kind of like getting used to it. Can you see me staying in a place like this? <laughs> no. Yeah, it's too nice for me, isn't it? I was just thinking it's like, it doesn't really feel like me. Good question. Which house is it? I don't think she sent me a... Uh, don't have a door number. I do. Okay, so we just wait here. Let's go. Oh, lovely. Interesting tree. Let's go explore the neighbourhood, shall we? This could be my new home. Interesting. And there's my content. I mean, if the place doesn't come furnished, that seems to be going. This is a two bedroom place and we found two mattresses on the street. Is that a sign? I don't know. Two mattresses available. I mean, that is just stunning. And such a lovely area as well. Can't find a vending machine, but can find this electrical thing. Charging a car, that's so cool. I've never seen that in real life. How cool, very modern. She's here, let's go see the property. Ooh. It's gonna be way out of my budget. I don't know why I'm getting so excited. <laughs> but it's gonna be really sad. I ended up looking at a few properties. It's all very exciting. I felt like a right adult. Do let me know your thoughts and everything. Right, fun time's over. It's lunchtime and I hadn't eaten a single thing. I was starting to get desperate. I decided to check out the nearest petrol station. Shocker, they didn't have any vending machines. There's no vending machines in there. Uh, I'm gonna check out the cinema and the gym because they're the two places that the guys at the station said might have it. We'll see. Excuse me, Hello. random question. Do you have any vending machines here? Uh, what kind of vending machine? We've got drink vending machines. Yeah. Anything yeah, like that? Any vending machine? left outside. Yes! We finally, at least we found a vending machine. So we've come to the cinema and we found one vending machine, but it's just for drinks. But it's something. It's something. What a sad machine. It's so dark here. Oh, it's like me on the inside. I've lost my light. How much is it for a drink? I can barely see the options. Welcome. Ice cold beverages. I might get a Sprite. Two fifty. Two. 50 for a bottle of liquor, you have the law. I've spent hours looking for a vending machine to find a drinks one, and the drink cost £2.50. 
£2.50. First thing I've got all up today is a bottle of Sprite from a cinema. That's the first vending machine I found today. Woohoo! Next location is a gym. I don't know what I'm gonna find there. I don't even know if I'm gonna be let in. Well, according to the big poster plastered on their walls, I was very much welcome. Oh! First obstacle of the day. Oh, there's a bowling place right next door. Let's go to bowling place. So, so far, I'm like... <laughs> That sounds like how I feel right now. Third time's a charm. Does that count as a vending machine? I don't know. Oh, we could play games. Where's the food? Oh, oh, oh my god, do you see right at the end? I see it. Do you see the vending machine right at the end? Oh my god, you found it. And it's got snacks. At least I'm gonna have food today. At least I'm gonna eat. That counts as a vending machine kind of thing. We found one. I'm so happy. For a while I thought there was no chance, but I found one, so that's good. I probably might get one candy bar with this. At this point, this machine could have been half empty and I still would have thought it was the most beautiful thing I'd ever seen. The vending machines only took coins, but luckily for me, there was a change machine right in front of me. Don't you just love it when life wakes out like that? We have a real feast on our hands here. It's currently 2 p.m. and this is the first bit of food I have found from vending machines. It's wild. Also, I realised that's a real crop shot there. We have a pack of Skittles, which is kind of half eaten. Ooh. Everything was 90p, which I think is quite expensive. I don't know if that's London prices or if that's vending machine prices. And also, the other thing with vending machine is you have to carry coins with you because they only accept coins, most of them. But luckily, I got all of these bad boys. Look at me. I'm rolling in the dough. Pound come for days. I just got that every year. Does anyone want to do the pound challenge again? Because I've got poor pounds for days. That's my weekly food budget there. <laughs> Should I do a pound series in London? So I've done the living off a pound in Cardiff, where I am from. But as you guys know, I'm currently looking at the process of moving to London. Sorry, don't mind me just picking up my coins. There's like two weeks worth of food right here. <laughs> I've never done the pound challenge in London before and London is way more expensive than Cardiff where I'm from. So let me know if you guys would like me to do a one pound, living off a pound series in London. Um, and if I end up living here, then I can do that for you guys. I can taste a rainbow. Can you see that? The, this is what a, I am really struggling to show this. This is what it looks like. Oh, I knew it would do that. It's okay, three second rule. Do you think I can catch him, Ella? No. Yeah, maybe. Oh, I did it! Oh my god, that's sick, I actually did it. Do you reckon I can do it again? No. You wow, so much business. Cheeky bugger. No more skills for you. You jinxed it. You do three second rule, three second rule. But no, listen, no, I don't no, know when I'm gonna find it. the next vending machine, so I gotta keep all my food. Straight from the ground. Love that. I can literally hear people unsubscribing. This content, we are thriving out here. Oh, I did it! I did three. I've never been able to do that. That's mad. This challenge has surprisingly taken a great turn. Everything is sugar. This is a real sugary diet. Oh no, I lie. No sugar in this. Next, we have the M&M's peanut flavor, which personally is my favorite. Which you like. How do I show it? See that? Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Teamwork makes a dream work, kids. Oh, <gasps> you only get like 10 in a packet. That's it. I just paid 90p for this, so each one of these is like 9p. Better not drop any. That's like 9p's worth of chocolate right there. Oh, here's good though, it's worth it. Those are M&M's. Not very nutritious. Not what you would call a balanced diet. At this point, I'm just happy to see a vending machine. Do you reckon I can get this in my mouth? These are bigger though. Write in the comments below if you think I will get this in my mouth. That's a weird thing to say. One, two, three. Ah, oh, my teeth, did you hear that? Hey! Okay, let's move on to the crisps. For savory, we have a bag of Max Walker's Flaming hot. I haven't had this in years actually. Ooh, lovely stuff. You know when you have um, crisp meal flavors? It's like that. So it's kind of like a meal in crisp form. That's what I'm gonna tell myself as I have it. I'm gonna just pretend it's real food. Oh, these aren't actually that bad. Oh, it's hot. 
Oh, yeah, it's hot. These are actually really good. It basically chilies in crisp ball. If you're into spicy food, you're going to love this. But there's no MSG, no preservatives, no artificial colours. Technically, it's kind of healthy. Potatoes. So, healthy? Who knows? And that has been my first meal of today. That has been lunch. I hope you enjoyed that. Real fun times. Westfield! I have come to Westfield in a very desperate attempt to find vending machines. I mean, Westfield is so big that they must have some here. Vending machines! Oh my god! Oh, we should just come here, but oh, there's different. There's popcorn chips, lentil, veggie chip. This is interesting. We haven't had anything like this. Protein bars. Oh, this is nice. Nuts. The great thing about this is like it's got quite healthy options: lentil chips, um, popcorn chips. They got like these are healthy snack bars, and you can use a card. How amazing! This has worked out quite well. Actually, I'm quite happy. The excitement was short-lived. The machine wouldn't accept my money or my card. Brilliant. It doesn't work. So it was back on the hunt to find another machine and that's when I realised there were literally signs that guided you to the vendor machines. Finally, I was seeing hope and the sign led me to more junk food. At this point I gave up and had more crisps and went on to the next vendor machine. Should we get that? Oh my god, that is 120. 120 and then A-E. It just took my buddy, it didn't go through. Well, I have the video proof, so at least we can prove to them that we really did. But who do I ask for? There's no one here. This is like the worst food challenge ever. This has been hard. All I wanted was my Maverick boost. Excuse me, I have a very random problem, but basically I use a vending machine over there and um, the snack didn't come through. There's a phone number and uh, the code and stuff on there. You'd have to contact them on the phone. Oh. So the vending machine, yeah. The plan now is I'm going to pay 120 to do it again, but I'm hoping what will happen is two will come out this time. So this could either go really well or really bad. Oh, 120, right? And then it's 80. That's it. Please, mate. Oh, solid. I don't even know if I like them, but I got two now. I think has been restored. Coconut, oh, it's a cookie. It's cookie. That's my dinner sorted. These are all the snacks I got from the vending machine. As you can tea, uh, as you can tea, <laughs> the real tea is I didn't actually um, have them within 24 hours, clearly, because I'm back at home. I did actually end up having a proper meal that day, mainly because I had been running around London all day and only surviving off of snacks and a fizzy drink, which is not healthy i will take the l on this one i value my health more on the packet it says mavericks cocoa nutter smart cookies now this is going to be very controversial brace yourselves i'm already preparing myself for the hate i'm not really a fan of peanut butter <gasps> people hyped up peanut butter so much i was so excited to try it but it's actually not as sweet as you think quite salty and i don't mind the old salty savory snack but this one just didn't feel right. This is gonna sound really dumb, but growing up I watched a lot of American shows and they would always talk about peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. Now, in the UK, we call jelly, jelly. Uh, but in America, jelly is jam. So I guess people are having peanut butter and jam sandwiches, which sounds wild. I wanna try that today. I wanna try peanut butter and jam sandwiches. I mean, are they cookies? These are biscuits, but I get I guess these are American because in America they call biscuits cookies, which is wild. Because then I'm thinking, what do you guys call cookies? In the UK, different biscuits have a name. So we got the custard creams, we got the bourbon, we got the jammy dodgers, we got cookies. But in America, I think they just call it all cookies. It's a whole cultural thing that I haven't quite grasped. So this is what it looks like. Can you see that? It does smell nice. It's basically shortbread. This tastes like shortbread. So I can taste like a subtle hint of coconut. Literally, it's shortbread. I mean, I don't know who's paying 120 for this. I feel like I've been mugged off, mate. Next thing, oh, I'm very excited about these veggie straws. Kale, tomato, and spinach flavor. I actually like vegetables. I'm a veggie fan. And this has kale in it. And we all know I'm a big fan of kale. In fact, I should pick up some kale tonight. 
Oh my god, these are amazing. And they're healthy. This is what they look like. They basically taste like potato snacks. Expensive, £1.50, but quite possibly the best thing I've had out of everything. We'll have this again. Plus one good thing that's come from this video. <laughs> if all else fails, I've discovered veggie straws. Long live the veg. We're about to get naked. There we go. Is it upside down? Oh, okay, sorry. There we go. It's like really squidgy. Do you see that? Let's try it. Oh, I regret it already. If I close my eyes, I can almost pretend it's real chocolate. I mean, it's good for you. Just because I'm going to finish it off doesn't mean I like it. Yeah, I still can't stop having it. What's going on? I'm fine. It's fine. It's fine. Don't we just love life? That has been this video. That has been me attempting to live off of vending machine foods for 24 hours. Four hours. What just happened? I don't know if we're having some supernatural activities going on in this room. Let me know if vending machines is a thing where you're from and what kind of food is available in your vending machines. Because I know in Japan, they have plenty. I, ugh, if I did this in Japan, I would have been thriving. I thought I would get sandwiches. I was very naive. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I love you lots and I shall see you guys next time. Bye.